a huge update from Windsor. Wave 6. Deploy front-end application in seconds directly from your IDE. You define the application and you ask it to deploy to Netlify. It automatically builds you the application. You are able to view the application directly from your IDE. And now we can deploy directly by clicking this icon or telling it to deploy. Here automatically build the application and publish that in Netlify, which I can go here and visit. And here is the site. I'm going to take you through step by step of how you can build an application and deploy it directly to Netlify without leaving your IDE. Also, you got other updates such as MCP SSE support, commit message automatic generation. This is a much requested feature because this is available in Cursor a lot earlier. Conversation table of contents. This is when you have a long conversation, tab improvements and many other. So first key improvement is that automatic deploy from IDE, which I'm going to show you. Let's get started. First, go to codium.com and then download WinSurf. Once after you download, this is how the interface will look like and command plus L to open the cascade window. So that's what I pressed. And this is the cascade window. Let's take an example. If I want to create a user interface just like this, I'm going to take a screenshot of that like this. I'm dragging the image to this cascade. And now I got the image and asking it to create a Flask application as shown in the image and publish in Netlify. Then clicking enter. Now it's taking the image, understanding or analyzing the folder, creating the required files, requirements.txt, app.py, and I'm approving these requests. So it's going through creating those folders. Sometimes if it stops here, just click on this open in terminal. And then if you close it automatically, it keeps on continuing. Maybe it's a bug, probably it'll get fixed soon. It created all the readme file and you can see the folder structure here. That is really nice. After creating all those files, it might stop after a certain number of times, then going to type continue. So here after opening the terminal, I can see an error here. So just copying this and pasting it here and clicking enter. So it identified it's a compatibility issue and fix that here. Now it got installed. Now it's asking me to confirm if I want to deploy. So clicking deploy. Now you can see the status here by clicking this icon. And this is how it looks like. App build status and says building. And I can claim the app if it belongs to me. So clicking claim app, then it'll ask you to log into Netlify and I can click claim apps. Now my app is claimed and here's the URL. You can see the published status. If in case you got any errors, the logs will show from here. So just copy the error log. So you can see the building log here. So previously when I tested, I had an error here. So I just need to copy the error message and I pasted that here and it automatically fixed it for me. Now let's open this website and see if it works. You can also see the URL from here, site overview, and you can see the URL. So clicking this and here is our version of Windsurf. This is the actual original site and this is what it built it for us. And here is both the applications side by side. So left hand side is the original one and the right hand side is the one which we just built. That is really nice. Just within five minutes, I was able to build this. Coming to the next key update is commit message generation. So this is our interface. So here we got the explorer and here you got the repo. So I can click generate and now it's generating my commit message. So based on the file changes, it created this commit message. So I can just click commit and publish. That will automatically publish my site or save that in GitHub repo. Next, we got the redefined memory and you can add your rules and it can even automatically generate memories and save that here. And others are just minor changes. And here is table of contents in regards to the previous conversation. Now Windsurf supports notebook, that is Jupyter notebook, and you are able to code directly from there also. And I'm really excited about all these updates. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like Windsurf, I also created another video, beginner's tutorial on how to get started with Windsurf, which I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.